So welcome to the unboxing of SH Figures Mask Rider 1, the next movie version. And here also I have the bike, uh, which is Cyclone uh, from the from the movie version, which is actual modification of Honda uh, CBL 1000 uh, RR fireplate. So after we open this figure, we will try to close it with the bike. As you can see in the box, there's this uh, additional writing. It's regards Bandai, and the box look looks more like the older version of SHF with black and white illustration of the figure. So now open the box, and it's a bit difficult to open before you take uh, this piece of. Uh, Cardboard out first. This is actually stuck to the inside. This is an additional part, not part of the box. So inside you can find the figure with three three pairs of extra hands and two slayers. One is for the static mode and the other one is for the action mode. Let's open the plastic clamshell. Open cell tape on both sides before you open the clamp on four sides. Then again over here. And on the top. It's very important to check all sides of sellotapes before you try to open the clamps with the plastic clamp shell or as you might damage it. And there we go. So now let's take him out. There we go. The basic uh, hand that comes with the figure, the default one, is the closed one. And since we would like to post the figure with the bike, we need to change it with one of the available hands. I think this one on the bottom is the one that is most appropriate. Let's just take off the default hand first. So there's some difficulty to take off the hands, which is good news. As you can see, it can pop out easily. Let's see if I can put on the alternative hand with no difficulty too. And one, two, and snap. Yeah, good news. No difficulty at all. There you go. And as you can see, the antennae is molded 
into the head so it's not a separate piece so you don't have to risk yourself losing it which is actually good news because the SIC version of the SIC version of Kamen Rider Ichigo the first or the next has separate uh, mold for antennae which is quite small so it's quite easy to lose it right, so the shoulder pad is movable so that it will not hinder you when you're making poses great and if you move it up a bit the arm can stretch to this way as for the now there is an issue here as you can see in this part it's protruding out and you're trying to bend the hand to make this position but the legs, it's quite easy, you can form difficult poses with it, it has good possibility, flexibility, and also there's one, there's an extra joint here between the thorax and the abdomen, so that you can have more movement. You can also move it uh, to the side from the, from the waist, as you can see. Okay, now let's try to put on the shawlers layer to the pad. Try to use the first one first, the static layer. Let's see where to put it. I think you have to take off the head first to put on Slayer. Yeah, there you go. You take off the head quite easily, which is good news. And I think, yeah, so just put in the Slayer here. And put the back head in. There you go. No problem at all. And there's some hair protruding from the back, just like in the movie version. So, looks good. It's not bad at all if you ask me. Let's try to pose it on the bike. And yeah, fell off. So, you might want to be careful when you're trying to bend the leg. And it's quite hard for me to put it back in. Wait, it's, it takes extra efforts. There you go. Yeah, so that's already another issue that I found in figure is the leg joint. Now let's see. Let's pose it on the bike. Pose it. It's a bit difficult to make a natural pose. With him on the bike, as you can see, he sits a bit awkwardly, but still acceptable, still looking good. And this is the next version, as you know, uh, they also have SHF for Kometer Ichigo first version. Because I don't have that one, so I don't know what's the difference between two versions. But from the pictures that I saw, I think this one looks a bit darker. The body pad and the uh, gloves and also shoes and actually the cyclone comes with additional accessories which I will show you I'm not sure if it's really useful or not but cyclone comes with extra handle in which the uh, clutch and also the brakes are pressed and if you really uh, take into consideration small details like this, for example, when the, the another Ichigo is breaking the bike, then it might be useful. Otherwise, there's some other extra accessories to never really use. So, that's all. All in all, the figure looks quite good. And 
All in all, the figure looks pretty cool, and the compound eyes are really glowing. I really like it, and the paint job is also quite nice. And all the details, the shoulder pads, knee pads. I recommend this figure to you. Although it has some issues, like the uh, joint for the legs it could fall out if you're not careful. Also, the belt is a bit loose over here and you have to take extra effort to put on this layer by taking off the head but it's actually a very good thing because now uh, it, it will totally stay there and not, it, it will be very hard for it to fall off unlike the issue that I have with other figures like Kamen Rider uh, Zekos so that's all for the unboxing review I will give you more review after I take pictures that wasn't so thanks for watching As for the Cyclone itself, I might say that it's a pretty sweet bike with glossy uh, red paint job and also it has really nice details with the tires, the brakes and also this uh, rainbow like exhaust. Actually some people on the internet are complaining about that but actually it's okay because you can really find in real life uh, racing exhaust with that kind of motives. There's only one, uh, let's say minor details that are missing, which is the speedometer. As you can see, there is none over there. Make it closer. It's a bit clearer, yeah. It's just like black dashboard, there's nothing. But because in general the bike looks good enough, so I have no complaint about it.